Okay, here we got the uh, stator back into that side. This is all dry. This is all set up to put the magnets in now. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Got to point out a few things of what I've done here. I didn't want to take up all your time, but I set all these magnets on the side here. You notice this stack of magnets is attracted to this stack of magnets. That's because this is north and this is south, north and south. And, you know, coming. Okay, we put up all our magnets on the outside for a reason. This is to make sure that we got them in order. Notice this is, these two are sticking together. These are not of the same polarity. They are opposite. Actually, these two sets of magnets here belong together. And here. See, this would be north and this is north. Uh, the same repels. Opposites attract. So basically, you set them on here, at least you know you got your polarity right. You can push them just like this, and notice that they'll, they'll try to do things. Yeah, see, these these want to pull together, these don't. So you got two, 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 but you still got to make sure that you didn't mess up somewhere around. Okay, here we go. This pulls, repels, repels, pulls, pulls, repels, repels, pulls, pulls, repel. I'm sorry, pulls, repels, something's wrong. Oh, duh, there we go. So, my order's messed up. And see, this can happen. That means half of this would be pushing, and ha well, these actually look like they're all right in order. I got one stack that's messed up. This looks like the oddball. Let's take it out. Tell by the pattern. Does it attract? Yes, it does. And this should be repelling. So it's, could be two or three, that would have been four magnets. Now this is pulling on itself, right? So that means I gotta flip it. There we go. Now this should not be trying to attract this. Let's find out. If I can get them apart. Oh yeah, they're repelling. These two are repelling. Okay, so now you know you got this pattern, it's right. Now let's check again. Start here. Pull. Reflect, uh, repel, repel, pull, pull, repel, repel, pull, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, and that's it. I got them the same. It's attracting. Here, it's attracting. Now it's repelling, repelling, attracting, attracting. So you can say north, north, south, south, north, north, south, south, north, north, south, south. You can tell that each one of these magnets is right from the path that this one wants to take. Now when you put this one down here, you know that setting it, if this is north here and then this is north here, or south down here and going to north, all of these magnets are in the same polarity. So I take these three off, what do I have? If this is north, then this has to be north. North and north repel each other. That's why they want to do that. Well, if I flip it over, I should have the right way. There we go. So I got north, south, north, south. That's why these want to come together. The pain. Instead, what we need is this. And this. All the way around. Show you how to do that, but the main thing is to get these inside here in order. Now when we go to do this, you're going to sit here and try to line these up inside with this. Go ahead and put an extra magnet there. All right, I'm going to show you how to use a pair of needle nose to make this a lot easier. Go like this. When you squeeze from the two sides, all you're doing is lifting it up slow so it's not sticking hard against this. You'll see when you try to push it by hand. All right, now this, I want to flip this over and push this in. And it'll take that magnet in the right polarity. Now look at this, it's holding my stator still. That's what I want. I'll get the extra magnet out when I'm done. Okay, so now we just want to start knocking these things over. You can do it like this, or you can put your stick over here and slide this down. And it'll stay with this one. I know this is still uh, north-south, north-south, and going in a, in a full circle now. That's okay. 
we'll space them apart later. When we get these things spaced out nice and even, we'll glue down the first set of magnets. And then we'll move the other ones over to it and glue them there. It makes it nice and easy. Don't work against the magnets. Work with the magnets. Let the magnets do the work. Now look at this one. It decided to come to the middle. I don't want any on the middle. It gets to be a mess if you have that. Okay, I'll take it over again. I'm just rolling them over the side. I know they're not going to get out of order. I'm not, I don't have to identify which is north and which is south. Oh, I can move closer. Uh-oh. Both of these just stuck to the stator at that point. Okay. That's what this tool's for. Piece of 14 gauge copper wire. Pull it in behind it. And pull it up. Get your thumbnail against it. And roll it right back over the edge. Do the same thing with this one. There we go. Now you can push them back in again. Hopefully they won't stick to the state of this time. There we go. There's that one. And there's that one. All right, those are in order. We'll keep on going. If you try to do all them ones that stick towards the end, you got so, so many crazy magnetics making these things do everything stupid. There you go. Put your thumbnail against it. You can probably keep it there. Almost. Another thing you can do is put a little piece of cardboard cards or something against the... I ought to show you that. That works real good. Put the card in there. This works well. Makes you wonder why you didn't do it before. <coughs> didn't see a piece of card, maybe? Okay, good. Alrighty. Now that one wanted to stick to the stator. There we go. Just pry it on the other side. Wrong, wrong tunnel. There you go. Yeah, that sucker's over on the... It moved. Just didn't hear it. All right. Do it the easy way. Step by step. Lift up, roll over. Thumbnail against it. Roll it in. Yeah, roll it in. There you go. See, you guys got it easy. You get to see it done first. There we go. A lot less wear and tear on the fingers. Yeah, the card works well. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Just let the needle nose attract it. And, ooh, that one wants to go sideways. There we go. All right, this is where we got the one left over. That is so easy. We'll just get right behind here. Come on. Ah, got enough curl now. I make sure that it's right over that one magnet and I just pull. The same diameter, uh, same width. Let her fly out here. That's fine. Easy to get magnet. Now these should all be in the right order. You just gotta space them out even. And then you're done. Or you can leave this one in here and do it that way. The girl wants to go here. Okay, good. Thank you.